Okay, so I'm looking at the objectives uh, that were due last week. This is the one that we're currently working on. That's the one that was most recently due. I haven't seen you since this one. So, uh, or this one actually, right? So I'm going to come here and go, a topic's attempted but not learned. Uh, looks like almost everybody got these three, inner conversion of prefixed SI units and so on. Almost everybody got those three. And I think I have videos on all of them anyway. Um, so, and I think I have a video on that one too. Let's go here to this one. This was, this was the one that you guys did, I think, uh, on Saturday. So let's go here and we'll, re we'll, we'll uh, do those in decreasing order, right? So setting up a one-step conversion. I have a video on that one already. So go, um, go to my YouTube channel and go and search. Let me show you how to do that. You come here, go to YouTube channel. Actually, I'm pretending like I'm not there, right? Watch this, youtube.com. Um, Dr. Cop oh. User Dr. Copic. Okay. Come here. Search. And that term was, let me go back here for a second, setting up a one step conversion. So let me go back here. Come here to the search window. Can you see what I'm doing? Setting up. Okay. Setting up a one step conversion. Okay. So there's 11 people that have viewed it. That's good. That means, uh, possibly means that people are finding that um, useful. Hopefully that's what that means. And uh, all right, so let's come back over here now. I already did a video on that one. I did a, I did not do a video on this one yet. Inner converting derived SI units. Come back and just make sure. Inter converting. Okay, yeah, I've not done one on that one yet. So let's go back here. And interconverting compound SI units. I'm not going to click on it because I've already got one prepared to do. So, but let's suppose I clicked on it and it pulls this up. Okay, this is a beast. It's scary. A NASA spacecraft. We're going to do some very simple math to do it though. So, watch out. Watch this. A NASA uh, spacecraft measures the rate R of which atmospheric pressure decreases with altitude. All right, what does that mean? Kilopascals per kilometer. All right, now we're supposed to convert this to kilojoules per meters to the fourth, right? All right, that's not going to be so, well, it's, it's going to be long. Kilopascals per kilometer. You see that's per kilometer right there? See what I did? Okay, now this is kind of scary because kilopascals to kilojoules, right? What does that, and look at it's kilometers to the, to the first, over me, uh, uh, we're going to convert that to meters to the fourth. What? What are you talking about? So what I did was I brought up the the SI. This is the the table that you have available to you. It's under fundamental constants. Wait, it's not there. That's not the one. It's um, converting factors for non SI units, right? And you see how one atmosphere right here, one atmosphere equals that exactly. Okay. So one atmosphere equals that exactly. Let's come back over here. And so I know I can get rid of this kilopascals. And I can convert that to atmospheres. All right, so far so good. So I've got rid of kilopascals. I'll put the numbers in in a, in a minute. All right, now that I've got that, I'm going to convert atmospheres to joules right because I'm ultimately going to joules I got rid of my kilopascals but now I'm gonna go to joules okay here's how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna look up the the, uh, the universal gas constant which happens to also be an R okay and it's 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin and it's also 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin okay and I know that by, because I went here, let me go back to where I was. I went here to, where was it? Fundamental constants, R. So you see this R, 0 0.08206 and 8.314, right? That's got liter atmospheres in joules, right? So I can get rid of my, I've got pascals in there and atmospheres. I can get rid of atmospheres and bring in joules by doing that. And you'll see I've got a, a problem that sort of just washes itself out. So I've got atmospheres here, right? 
I can get rid of atmospheres, but it looks like it's going to be leader atmospheres that I can convert to that, right? So if these two are equal to each other, then those are equal to each other. And so I can put these numbers in here. This is going to be 8.314 joules per 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres, right? You see that? Okay, so now I've got rid of kilopascal, kilopascals. Oops, that's kilopascals. I've got rid of atmospheres. I've introduced joules like I wanted to. I need to make, I need to make that kilojoules now though. Joules and kilojoules. Told you this was a long one. Okay, but I have liters, and I need meters. Right? I've got liters and kilometers. Ah, I happen to know that one liter equals a thousand mils, which is equal to, watch this, a thousand cubic centimeters. And I know that 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. And so, 100 centimeters cubed is going to equal to one cubic meter. Wow. Wow. Okay. So what I'm going to do first in this first step is I'm going to convert liters to cubic centimeters. I got liters here, so I got to get it crossed off. Liters. I'll put cubic centimeters here. Okay. And now my cubic centimeters, I'm going to get rid of and make them into meters. Right. So, oh, cubic meters. Sorry. I'll get that in a minute. All right. I'll get those numbers in a minute. And then kilometers I got to get rid of kilometers wow what a beast and make that into meters okay so watch this my kilometers are crossed off my cubic centimeters are crossed off my liters are crossed off my joules are crossed off no yeah 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 they are and my kilojoules I have and I needed them and I'm left with meters to the fourth on the bottom which I needed Okay, so let's put the numbers in now and solve it. Okay, so these numbers are already there. How many atmospheres per kilopascal? Let's go look that up again. Uh, it's on that sheet. Actually, I, I, I'm going to just say it. It's 101.325. It's on that data sheet per atmosphere. 0.08206 uh, for every 8.314 of these guys. There's 1,000 joules per kilojoule. There's a thousand cubic centimeters per liter. These numbers I don't know, but I know 100 cubed is one oh 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 oh. This looks like it's a million. So it looks like there's. This implies that one times ten to the six cubic centimeters is equal to one cubic meter. So I'm going to say one times ten to the six, right? And there's a thousand meters per one kilometer. Okay, wow, long problem, but what I was just doing constantly is crossing stuff off, right? So what I gotta do is I gotta multiply all the numerators and then divide by all the denominators, but, but I'm gonna, I got a shortcut. I see a million here and I see two thousands. So I'm gonna get rid of that thousand and that million, save myself some time. All right, so let's put this in the calculator and then we'll be done. All right, I gotta find my calculator. Okay, here's my, here's my, cal here's my calculator. It's 0 0.0401 times 8.314 times one like there's no more up there right now divided by 101.325 divided by 0 0.08206 divided by 1000 equals and this comes out to be zero 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 looks like four zeros four zero oh, zero oh, nine six okay so it looks like it's going to be which is about um how many sig figs did i have three sig figs 
So this is about 4.01 times 10 to the 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, times 10 to the negative 5. And that is kilojoules per meter to the fourth. Wow, what a beast. All right, hope that's helpful. I guess if you got uh, sideways in the beginning, probably it was difficult to, to follow. But I recommend that you stop the st start the video again and watch it again, and uh, try to predict where I'm going to go and imitate it. And I think you'll see. I'm going. I'm, I'm using some sort of rhyme or reason, and that is I'm constantly looking at the units that I want to get rid of and trying to find a way to cross them off, and it works. Okay. Hope that's helpful.